Welcome back to Frugal It Out. Today we are going to make a marshmallow Halloween costume. My six-year-old was dying to be marshmallow this year. I will put a picture of who exactly marshmallow is if you don't know. Um, and so I thought, easy peasy, I will go buy a marshmallow helmet, put him in white clothes, done, it's easy. But as I got to do some research, I found out that the marshmallow helmet was not cheap. Oh my goodness. I, I was not willing to pay $50 for a helmet that my son was going to wear once, maybe twice, depending on what kind of Halloween activities we had. Um, so I thought I can make this myself. So let's go ahead and get into the video now and I will tell you exactly step by step how you too can make your own marshmallow costume. For this project, you're going to need a bucket, spray paint, pantyhose, an X-Acto knife, Sharpie, measuring tape, and then also I don't have in this video, but you are going to need a hat, a glue gun, and sandpaper. I only needed a bucket that was 8 inches tall for my kiddo's head, so what you see me doing here is marking 8 inches around the entire bucket, and then I trace around the whole thing with one line so that I know exactly where to cut. Once you have your line marked on your bucket, then you can just take your X-Acto knife, push through the bucket, and cut along the line that you just drew. This was a little tough at first, and then I realized if I held the knife at an angle, it was much easier to cut. As you could tell, I wasn't exactly amazing at cutting a nice straight line, but at the end, it really didn't matter and I did take some sandpaper and go around the edges to clean it up a little bit. Now I am just cutting the bill off of the hat that I'm going to glue on the inside of the bucket to hold the bucket nicely on my son's head so it doesn't wobble too much. I'm not exactly sure what this little circular rivet thing is called on the top of the hat, but I'm just taking a pair of pliers to pop that off just so it's a little more comfortable on my kid's head and it won't push into the top of his head and also just so it glues down in the bucket a little easier. Here I just drew out a couple different sizes for the eyes because I wasn't sure what size I wanted and I'm just cutting them out so that I can trace them onto the bucket and have a template to carve out with my X-Acto knife. And here you can see me doing the exact same thing with the mouth. And now I'm just tracing along the lines that I drew on the bucket as a template and cutting out the eyes and mouth. It actually wasn't until I started cutting the eyes and mouth that I learned to cut at an angle with the knife because then it cuts much smoother. And here's the finished product with just the raw edges after I cut the eyes and the mouth out. I wasn't thrilled with that right eye, so I did go ahead and take my Dremel with some sandpaper and smoothed out the edges on the mouth and eyes and then also rounded out that corner on the right eye. After I cleaned up the eyes and the mouth, I did go along the bottom edge and sanded that down too so that there was no sharp edges and it looked a little bit cleaner. After I cut everything out and sanded everything down, I took the bucket outside for a nice clean coat of white spray paint. With this kind of spray paint, I did have to go over it with three different coats just to cover all the blue. So if you could find like maybe a Kills brand, I think that would cover a little better. I'm kind of hiding behind the mask so you can't see exactly what I'm doing, but I'm just putting some hot glue at the top of the hat so that I can glue it to the inside top part of the bucket. As you can see here, I actually glued the hat in backwards so I did have to peel it off and then re-glued it down the correct way. Now I just have the black nylon pantyhose that I'm going to cut to size to cover the mouth and the eyes on the inside of the bucket. When I first went to the store, I originally was going to buy a screen that you put in your window to cut, but then I realized that nylons were a lot cheaper, whereas the screen was $6 and these were only 76 cents. So I went ahead and bought the nylons and I just cut them in half so that they would lay flat and then cut them, like I said, to size to fit the eyes and the mouth and hot glued them on the inside of the bucket. 
And here's the final finished product. I probably could have filed down the edges a little better with some sandpaper, but all in all, I think it turned out great and my son loves it. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was actually a very fun little project I got to do and my son absolutely loved it. But if you guys liked this, here is the end result. I just used, like I said earlier, I used um, some pantyhose for the eyes and the mouth and it was just a five gallon bucket that I had cut. There was a hat on the inside that I glued in so that it fits on his head. And it turned out really cute. I was really impressed of how well it turned out. I was a little nervous that like with my cuts, it was just gonna be a hot mess, but it was actually, it turned out well. But if you did like this video, if you would just hit that like button below, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you know exactly when we post new videos. And we will see you next week with our next video.